I'm 26 years old. My journey of being a digital influencer started from Jan 2022. Before that, I was a person who never used to upload any of my pictures or videos on any of the social media platforms. I'm a very bubbly and a fun-loving person. From being a makeup artist to an astrologer, during the course of time, I became a philanthropist as well. And now, a budding influencer. The present status of my insights on Instagram is 100 plus K reach count. The main ideology of being an influencer doesn't matter whether you are an established influencer or a budding influencer. It is to reach out to your viewers so that they can get encouraged, motivated, influenced by your content. It can be dance content, makeup content, comedy content, doesn't matter. All that matters is that be yourself, be real, be natural, just as the way I got encouraged by my idols personally and professionally, though I have never met them. They are so spontaneous, so natural with their content because they are themselves, they are real in that. Camera never lies. The USP of being an influencer is to keep up with the trend and to reach the, to the viewers. You never know in what manner, in which way they can get influence. The state of mind of any person varies. That is very, very natural. So it is very important that your content should be productive. It should be knowledgeable. And so am I going to do in my future videos, in my future content. No doubt, as being an influencer, especially a budding influencer, there have been many challenges in my way and yes definitely that is very normal because many of the influencers, even established influencers must be feeling those challenges. As in the growth, the viewership, the followers, the engagements, the insight come to sum it up with. Majority of the influencers, no matter budding or uh, established, they tend to purchase the insights as in uh, the bread better growth of engagements and followers which is very wrong. I personally and professionally do not support that. Why? Because gradually your growth will stop and you will never be able to grow if you do so. So it's a pro tip that please do not purchase uh, followers or viewers. Why? You will never ever grow. I'm repeating this again and again. I assertively again say this. So please, this, uh, please keep this in mind, uh, especially if you are a budding influencer. And uh, I understand it is very normal because many of us are in the race of, you know, uh, achieving the viewers and a better follower reach. This has been my learning uh, during the course of my journey of being a budding influencer uh, and which I have shared it with you. India is so talented. India is full of talent and I'm really proud of it. So, uh, once I have stated that, yeah, I want to reach to the rural areas as well. So, that doesn't mean that uh, people coming from the rural areas are not on Instagram. They are not good established influencers. They are really, really playing a very vital role in influencing the people. Just look at the reach count also. It's so wide. And this really has touched my heart. Uh, when I see that people from the rural sectors are also making, uh, you know, the productive content. They are giving the productive content. And uh, that is also an encouragement and inspiration to me. I believe in taking the longer road. I quote here Robert Frost. I took the road less traveled by and that has made all the difference. And yes, that will definitely make a huge difference. So support me and uh, connect with me on my Instagram handle that is M-I-Z-Z-F-A-2014. This is my Instagram username. So connect with me and stay tuned.